What's up, Eagle Speed? Alright, so... I don't give a shit if I get criticized for doing this on a week that's not hate week. What I care about is... Listen to that video that you and uh, EDP did. You know... Your video where you were like, oh, the Giants aren't as good as their record implies. The Giants Mafia. I'm heading to the basement for a minute. I got the keys. I'm heading to the basement. And I'll make sure to keep this in front of the keys here. You know, for the nights I go out drinking, I got a bottle opener. And it's the Giants one. Eagle speed. <laughs> Eagle speed, man. You're one of the primary reasons why I came into the TTC. And all the A bombs gonna be like, oh, you're not TTC, you know. Because I don't talk as much shit. I don't talk as much shit as I should. That's just because I got other shit going on in life right now, and I'm not going to put it out there because you have people like Scott Fallis who like to track down my phone number and shit. <laughs> well, anyway. So let me, let me, let me talk to you real quick. When you are in the fucking basement, you don't get to talk shit, okay? Like, the one thing that Bad Dog usually says about the Redskins is actually true about you guys this year. You are the bitch of the NFC East. You have five wins, right? Five wins. None of them have come against an NFC opponent. As a matter of fact, or an NFC East opponent, and as a matter of fact, I think in the conference, you guys have something like a 2-4 and four record. So not only are you having trouble beating teams in your division, which you can't beat anybody in our division. It, that's been established already. But now, you're hardly, you don't even have a 500 record in the conference. But you're going to sit back and talk about how the Giants aren't as good as our record implies. That's what you're going to do. You're still going to be pissed off with the fact that we just put a fucking dome on you a couple weeks ago. And the funny thing is, is this week, you're going up against Seattle. You know the team that just beat New England? That you sure as fuck couldn't do this year? We're going up against the Bears. Now you might say... I hope that just shows the, the strength of schedule difference. I don't know. But you're forgetting, man. Because you started with an easy schedule. You went up against the Bears. You were beating your motherfucking chest. Oh, oh you know, oh, and two, oh, and two, because your first game was against the Browns or whatever. You guys were beating your chest against the Browns, who are fucking 0 oh, and 10. Or 0 oh, and 11 now. Or going to be 0 oh, and 11. You guys were beating your chest for beating the fucking Bears and the Browns. But then if the Giants say something like, oh, well, our opponent this week is the Bears, is the Bears, and then next week is the Browns, you're going to come out with some bullshit excuse about how how they're easier than the teams that you're facing. But that was all cool. That was all cool when we were facing the harder teams. It actually doing pretty good, okay? As many losses as you have in the division is however, is however many we have total, Okay? You talk a lot of shit for someone that's hanging out down here in the basement. Right? For someone that's a Philadelphia Eagles fan. You can't beat anyone in the division, but yet you're saying, oh, but the Chinese are, the record isn't as good as it implies. Oh, but you were sure beating your fucking chest with ADP in the beginning of the season when you guys were 0-3, right? Against teams like, I, I, I don't remember who your third opponent was, but I know your first two were fucking Chicago Bears and the, no, the Cleveland Browns and then the Chicago Bears. Oh, yeah, and then it was the Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay, yeah. You beat Pittsburgh. Dallas also beat Pittsburgh. And they beat you. 
and we beat them. If that tells you that it's on a week-to-week basis, your team can't perform consistently. But you're going to talk about how we suck. Talking about how we suck, right? In case you didn't notice this, Eagle Speed. We're doing better than you. And not only are we not in last place, but we're in second place, and we're not behind a team that has a fucking tie on their record. Do you understand what a tie does? And that's just, that's basically saying Washington's only playing 15 games this year because it doesn't count. It doesn't count. So there is no. <laughs> it hurts their record. It, actually, by not counting, it hurts. So you're you're behind a team that essentially is only going to have 15 games this year that are going to count for their record, essentially. And you're behind them. <laughs> you're going to talk about how bad we are. You're going to talk about how we aren't as good as our record shows. Look, everybody knows Eli throws a lot of interceptions. That's because he's fucking passing 85, 90% of the time. Eli's always throwing somewhere around 40, 45 fucking passes a game. So of course he's going to have more interceptions than most other quarterbacks. Because he's throwing most more than most other quarterbacks. You've got to get the run game going. But we even did that on you. <laughs> we even ran on you. We have one of the worst rushing attacks right now. But, Landon Collins, Dominique Rogers, Cromartie, Eli Apple, Sterling Shepard, Odell Beckham, still my favorite receiver, Victor Cruz. I mean, Shane Vereen when he gets going. Will Beatty, or not Will Beatty, um, what the fuck am I thinking of? Weston Richburg, uh, which, by the way, is a Pro Bowl center. Okay. Dominique, or, or Jason Pierre-Paul, Olivier Vernon, Matt Burhey. We got a bunch of people, bro. The talent is deep on our roster. Who the fuck do you have? Uh, Fletcher Cox. Carson Wentz, which is, I mean, he's well, he's good. I'll give it to you. Jordan and Ryan Matthews. But that's it. Nelson Aguilar, really? Zach Ertz, you fucking think somebody's scared of Zach Ertz? Look, man, what you need to do, honestly, Eagles Beat, what you really need to do is you need to worry about getting out of the fucking basement before you start talking about how other people suck. Because last I saw, the Cowboys, the Giants, the Redskins, and then you. When you're the basement dweller, the bottom feeder of the division, you don't get to talk shit to the people in your division or to the teams in your division or fan bases or whatever. You don't get to do that. You get to sit down and shut the fuck up because that's what your record tells you that you should do. All right? Now, I understand that this isn't the Eagles hate week, but I can hate on you motherfuckers every day of the week and still not have enough time for hate week to get out. I'm telling you, Eagle Speed. Just because it's not hate week doesn't mean Giants Mafia isn't watching. Because we are. And I think you should be thinking about what you say, dude. Because you had to eat a whole... Well, first off, you didn't even give a a proper crow. You didn't even give a good crow anyway. But deep down inside, I know that loss hurt. You keep talking shit because another one's coming. It's going to be in a couple weeks, dude. I mean, hey, we only got a month and a half left after this. 
So it's gonna be in a couple weeks that you get your next ass open, bro. Like it or not, man, $200 million defense. The Giants are here to stay. And Philly hasn't arrived yet. Giants Mafia, bitch. And I'm out.